Hello everyone! Today I will be playing Universe Sandbox 2, except instead of playing it, I will be showing you guys something that I think is very cool. How big the universe really gets, and how small the universe really gets. We will be starting with everyday objects and moving up to the largest objects in the universe. Slight l disclaimer before we start, we will not be including black holes or galaxies because the black holes warp space-time and if I put them next to the stars, it'll just warp them and they look like lines and ovals. So, won't be including those. And, yeah. So, let's get started. But before we do, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any stuff like this. Comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. Um, and with that, let's get started. We will be starting with a dice. Some objects some objects get so big the screen is shaky so we have dice, marble, 20 sided dice, golf ball, and just so you know I won't be naming all of these so your ears are saved. Pool ball 8, the baseball and tennis ball, the bat the great banana, 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 great way of pronouncing that, bowling ball, a teapot, basketball, jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins, the great pigeon, I made a whole video on seagulls flying over my house, go check that out, link will be in the description. Watermelon, the long sword, and now we start getting to relatively big objects. The recent Parker Solar Probe launch, Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster, the Voyager spacecraft, the very famous third stage of the Saturn V. And we get to the largest things on our planet, the blue whale, which is actually just a sperm whale that I sized up for this video. We get to Apophis, a famous asteroid, and one of the heaviest objects that was made by man. Shoemaker Levy 9, that hit Jupiter a long time ago, and scientists caught that. And Neowise. A recent comet that flew by Earth in July 2020. We have Halley's Comet, passes by about 70 years, and the asteroid that killed the dinos, the Chicxulub event. Deimos and Phobos, the moons of Mars. We have Crab Pulsar, the smallest neutron star in this game and what the sun will look like in five billion years, a white dwarf star. For those Star Wars fans, I put the Death Star in there. We have other names that are hard to pronounce. For Sky-Fi fans, we have Armageddon. We have Vesta, Pallas, and even more Star Wars fans, Starkiller Base, that destroyed the Hothnian system. Sorry, I mispronounced that. We have Ceres, Sedna, Dione, right there. We have Charon, the largest moon of Pluto. Heumia, that's how you pronounce that. Make Make. Hmm, wonder what it makes have Eris, Pluto, the largest of the dwarf planets, Europa, sixth largest moon, and the moon, 
also known as Luna. We also have Mercury, the smallest planet and closest to the sun, and the two largest moons in the solar system, with Ganymede taking the crown. That kind of looks like a foot. We have Mars for Endgame fans. This is where Thanos lived before he got sliced by Thor in half. And this is where we live. All all of us, all 7.8-ish billion of us. Proxima B in the Alpha Centauri system, about four light years away. We have Kepler-69C, the largest rocky planet that I can simulate. We have Planet 9, which is in the outer solar system. We have Neptune, Uran <coughs> Uranus, sorry, bad puns, sorry about that. We have Saturn and Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. And it is at this point in time where we scale up. Things start getting enormous, like, they get really big. We have Proxima Centauri, the smallest star in the Alpha Centauri system. We have Barnard Star, a famous brown or red dwarf. We have the Castor Gem stars, Castor Gem BB, AB, CB, and we finally have the Alpha Centauri stars, B and AB or no, A, and the sun, the very star we orbit, the star that you look up in the sky and see. Don't do it though, you will get blind, unless you have really good eyes. We have Polaris AB, some more caster gem stars, we have Sirius, don't be so serious dude, Denebola, <laughs> Uh, we have even more caster gems, we have Vega, Religious, Reli Regulus, I always have problems pronouncing that, not even gonna try and pronounce that, we have Spica, Spica, Spicy, yeah, I'll, I'll call you Spicy, Pollux, and Arcturus, a large star. We have Polaris, the North Star. We get to Rigel, a very bright star in the night sky. And this is gonna be the sun in the future. In about 4.5 billion years, that will be the sun. And for compare, Oh, I have the scale thing on. That's why it jumped over there. Can't do that. Have Red Giant Sun, Deneb, just a teensy bit bigger. Another famous and bright star called Pistol Star. Antares, Antares. I don't know how to pronounce that one either. Come on. You have Beetlejuice, V.Y. Canis Majoris which held the record for the largest star until UI Scooty beat it. Sadly for UI Scooty though, that that's another hard one to pronounce. Sadly for UI Scooty, it got beaten recently last year. We have Stephenson 218, the largest star ever discovered. And yeah, empty space. Sadly, I can't do black holes because they just warp, but I'll try. The largest black hole is Ton 618, which is about that big. 
if you can see it, it's warping everything. That's why I didn't put it in. It would just be warping all the big stars so you wouldn't be able to see them. So yeah, uh, that is the extent of matter and size. Yeah, it is very, very, very large. The universe is very large. And who knows what greater stars might be out there. Yeah, that is my universe comparison video. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, it was a little bit different. It was more of an education video rather than a gaming video where I destroy stuff in Universe Sandbox and that stuff. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below if you want to see more stuff like this. Like the video if you do want to see more stuff like this. And... Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.